our temperatures have been warm the last few days. Three consecutive days, guys, of uh, temperatures in the 80s. We should be in the low to mid 70s, uh, but uh, we're certainly in a warm spell uh, for sure this week. Temperatures down a little bit into next week, but not too much, though. Uh, triad temperatures again, 10 degrees above average. Normal lows are in the lower 50s, and we're overachieving in both the high and the low columns. Uh, not quite record setting, but at least we're in the vicinity within uh, seven degrees of the record high for yesterday. Uh, temperatures low to mid 60s early morning. Once again, 50s in our western counties, a little cooler. Our western counterparts down to 48 now in Boone, 56 in Jefferson, Mount Airy, Yatkinville, Hillsville, all at 59 degrees this morning. Of course, warm air with a better rain chance closer to the frontal boundaries. We're not that close yet, and that's pretty typical this time of day. You need a kind of a trigger to help set them off because things are fairly stable. We do have a, a weak boundary slipping our way coming through central portions of uh, Tennessee. I think that'll start to fire up some western showers eventually, even as early as this morning, moving into our local area, probably not until lunchtime or later. Uh, this is our Saturday storm chance, and this is a pretty potent storm system. It's produced tornadoes, some wind damage the last three days. That's all the tornado reports, numbering, uh, uh, numbering over 40. Going back to uh, Tuesday, uh, all parts of Texas, Oklahoma, the last uh, batch really hit uh, Arkansas pretty hard and approached the uh, the Mississippi River Basin. Today, uh, again, a marginal severe risk north of our area. We have a, just a general thunder threat for today. Tomorrow, as the system gets a little bit closer, I think damaging winds could be an issue a little later in the day. I think it's a, a cluster of storms coming through, mostly during the afternoon or early evening. Uh, so keep an eye on the sky then if you've got outdoor plans for sure. I think the majority of the activity is going to be south and west of us. And then some lingering uh, storms may continue Sunday. It just depends on how quickly that frontal boundary pushes through the area before we begin to dry out. Here's a better sense of how this may play out. Uh, rain chances today are best in the west. We could see a few southern showers or a storm drifting in from the south. It really depends on how far inland they go, and I'm not really too bullish on having those come in. We settle down, and I think early midday plans are fine for tomorrow. Scattered storms developing in the afternoon, continuing through the evening, and then you can see that front kind of washing through the area. Uh, depending on where it is and how quickly it, it takes to get through here, uh, we could have a few strong storms along that front. I think the majority of it should be out of our market before that happens. Temperatures cool a little bit from Monday with highs in the upper 70s, lower 80s next week.